If you're a fan of 3D printing, the very next thing you need to think about is injection molding. And the reason why is, making a couple of 3D printed parts is great, but when it comes to production, you need to consider injection molding. Because the cost of each 3D printed part remains the same, whereas if you make an injection mold, your piece prices diminish as the volumes go up. A great value to consider is, instead of 3D printing your prototype part, building a prototype mold and molding it in the material that you want the end product in. So another consideration is your surface finish. 3D printing, it's got all those crazy lines in it. Injection molding, you can have a beautiful finish, whatever finish you want. A textured finish, a smooth finish, it's built into the mold and it's the same every time. Let's talk materials. With 3D printing, you're limited to what materials the machine can print. With injection molding, you have thousands of different raw materials to choose from with many different properties. And you can't 3D print a filled nylon or Delrin or Peak, whereas they're not a problem for us. If you 3D print your part and it's not in the material that you're going to use in the end, you're not going to get the same product. So as you can see, 3D printing might be a good first step, but injection molding is probably a better first and second step because you go right into production. And that's why Plastic Does It. Visit PlasticDoesIt.com. Made right here in the USA.